What's going on guys, Rob from QuickSkeek, and in today's video, I'm gonna go through Google Ads click-through rate, and I'm gonna give you three awesome tips that you can implement right now today after you watch this video on how to increase your click-through rates. So before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right below this video. Lots of cool daily content coming out from the QuickSkeek channel. Okay guys, so we are in a client's live account and we're looking at last 30 days of data this is a junk car guy and we're gonna walk through his uh, click-through rate so if we go over at the campaign level we'll see here we have a 6.22 percent click-through rate which is really really good anything over five is awesome it's where you want to be the average industry average for pay-per-click is about two to three percent and that's the average so you're doing pretty okay if you have a two or three percent click-through rate 5% and above is really it's really good. And obviously anything anything beyond 10 is is you know unicorn status like that's where you want to be. So if we go into this guy's campaign though, I want to show you it, it varies from the ad group level too. So you're going to be able to see click through rates at the ad group level. So you'll see here like one ad group has a 13.79% click through rate. So if we sort by click through rates we got 9%, so we got 7, 6, 6, and then we have some 4.5s and, a, half and a 4 and 3. So th this is overall a really successful campaign TTR-wise. And so I want to show you tip number one to essentially increase your click-through rate is we're going to segment. Let's go to the campaign level to do this, though. We're going to segment by search partners. Because you want to make sure that search partners is not, you know, giving you a crap click-through rate and also, you know, bad conversion rate and high cost per lead. So we'll come down here to segment, network with search partners. You'll see here is Google search. So that's just straight up Google search. And we have a 6.1% click-through rate on Google search. And now search partners, you have an 8% click-through rate. So that's a win, right? <clears throat> that's a really awesome click-through rate. Now, Search Partners is also converting less for us with a higher cost per lead. So that's something that for another video or if you want to do optimizations, to, should, should you turn that off or not? It really depends on your goals and the cost per lead you're going for. So let's say my client wants $20 leads and Search Partners is sending traffic for um, $66 a lead. Then obviously I'm going to go into Search Partners and turn this off. And you can do that in the settings, which I'll show you right now. Go into Campaign Settings into your campaign networks search network turn off save so just like that that's how you'll turn that off if that's something that's uh, affecting your conversion rate or cost per lead but in this example for this video click through rate pretty rad that's awesome eight percent is great now if let's go back farther though just before I turn this off for good I want to make sure that it's not like a fluke month yeah, see, so if you go back farther, we are getting those leads for about 25 bucks. So that's something to always keep in mind when you're uh, making big adjustments like that. Is that you want to go back far and not just take it for like 30 days data. I mean, it is progressively getting higher. I'm going to keep it off regardless for this guy. But that's for, like I said, another video. All right, so that is tip number one. Look at search partners. Make sure that you're not getting crushed with click-through rate, with a very low click-through rate and bad conversion rate and cost per lead rate, all that stuff. That's something to keep in mind, okay? So you want to make sure that your your um, click-through rate, it's a balance. It's a balancing act. Your click-through rate, your cost per lead, your conversions, and your conversion rate. So that's just one thing that you might just want to turn it off if you're getting hammered here with search partners, and that's easy to do, as I've just shown you. All right, next up, we're going to go into the ad groups. All right, so the number one thing to do to increase your conversion rate, I'm sorry, your click-through rate at the ad group level is to make sure that your ad groups are extremely dialed in. You want your keywords to be very relevant in your ad group and the ads that they're going to be very relevant so let's say we have an ad group sell my junk car 
which we have paused. Oh, no, we have a filter on it. I need to get rid of that. All right, so we have our ad group, sell my junk car. You'll see here, sell my junk car, sell junk car is all that's in this ad group. I don't have many keywords, there's 29 keywords, which is pretty much the max that I will put into an ad group. But all my keywords are extremely relevant to each other. That's what Google cares about. They care about relevancy. That's all that matters to them is user experience and relevancy. So to get those higher click-through rates, it's simply just about keeping your ad groups nice and tightly themed and having your ad copy talk about the keywords that you're seeing right here. So all of our ads in this ad group, and there should be three responsive search ads, which I can't go into, unfortunately, because it has client information all over it. But three responsive search ads per ad group, and you want to work, you want to sprinkle most of your keywords. If I mean, obviously, you're not going to be able to put every keyword in, in your ads. But you want to sprinkle the top level ones in throughout your ad copy in your ads. And if, if you remember, an RSA ad has 18 headlines and four descriptions. So you have plenty of room to sprinkle in keywords. Now, don't just keyword stuff them because that's not going to work. You got to like work them in. Like, sell my junk car fast would be one of the headlines, right? Sell my junk car. Sell a junk car in 10 minutes. Sell a junk car in an hour. Whatever. You get what I'm saying? You want to work the keywords into a, an actionable call to action title in your ads so that's just one way that you're going to be able to continually increase your click-through rates is to have extreme relevancy so tip number two extreme relevancy with your ad groups your keywords and your ads right very 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 important and obviously make sure that your landing page that you're sending all this traffic to is this talking about the stuff you're running ads for right otherwise it's just going to bounce right off that page and not work at all and not be great for you so that's tip number two, relevancy, keeping your ad groups tight. Now, tip number three, and this is probably one of the most important ones, as I said before, is split testing your responsive search ads. You want to make sure that you're running three responsive search ads per ad group, and not just in your campaign. Let's go back out to the ad group level. You don't want the same three ads for every freaking ad group, okay? Now, that said, you can... You can create three ads for we buy junk cars, right? And then clone those three ads and put them in every single ad group. But you're going to have to go into each ad group and edit the ads with the specific keywords that you're talking about in the ad group. So if we clone we buy junk cars, Gary, which is a geo, we're obviously not going to have keywords about we we buy junk cars, Gary, in our responsive search ads that we cloned into sell a wrecked car. We're going to talk about selling a wrecked car fast, quickly, whatever. We're going to talk about cash for junk cars and the cash for junk cars ad group. So you want to have three unique responsive search ads in per ad group. You want to make sure that all 18 headlines are filled out with heavy call to actions and keywords from that specific ad group sprinkled throughout the titles and the descriptions of your I'm sorry, the headlines and the descriptions of your responsive search ads. And every 30 to 60, actually 30 is probably too soon. Responsive search ads are really good at getting great click-through rates, um, as you can see here. Like they just work really well because Google's algorithms in there, like mixing and matching all of the headlines and titles to find the most optimal, highest click-through rate ad. So the most important thing I can say with the split testing of responsive search ads is just to make sure that if you have three ads per ad group, that each ad is unique to the next one. If you have three ads that all say the same stuff, it's just gonna—it's not gonna work. It doesn't make any sense. So you want to make sure that you have three unique ads. And every, I'd say, 60 to 90 days, more leaning towards 90, take a look at the past 90 days of data per ad group and see which um, ad has the lowest click-through uh, rate. And you want to pause that ad and create a brand new one from scratch to run against the two winners. And Google will sort all of that out with making sure they all get evenly shown. And that's what you're going to do. So that's the three tips. Very easy to implement, guys. You can go right now after this video and start tweaking and making moves and doing all that stuff to increase your click-through rates. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any comments about increasing click-through rate, just drop them in the comment section below this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. We drop trainings every day with uh, content about Google Ads, Agency Life, Google or YouTube Shorts. We're, we have to do a lot of shorts now, just like quick hit tips, stuff like that. And also check out the links in the description.
We have lots of um, free courses, trainings, all that kind of cool stuff. All right, guys. Catch you later.